week number one of the laundromat opening. We had customers inside and one armed guard. <laughs> I had to hire a guy uh, to keep me safe. We got a big bucket, a uh, bunch of buckets down here for the collection today. Um, and we want to see how much money did this laundromat make um, with the $100,000 renovation on it. I'm as curious as everybody else is. Um, this collection is kind of interesting. So let's go. Hey guys, welcome to week number one of my new laundromat. I have to do voiceovers because we are freaking busy and I'm not going to turn down $130 an hour to keep the machines running because I owe almost $100,000 in laundromat stuff. So I had to get somebody to help me to make sure I didn't run into robbery problems while doing today's quarter collection. So we've got new video equipment. I'm really trying to make sure that this collection of the quarters and everything is really cool and what everybody wants um, from me. And I'm trying to do the best of all worlds because these machines run me about $1,600 a month in loan payments as it stands now. This is on top of the, the 530-ish that I have to pay for the building. Uh, but every single time I've come into my laundromat, it's busy. Um, we've got customers almost all the time, and um, they they like me doing these quarter collection videos. I've tried to explain to people that uh, my customers aren't my enemies. Um, no one no one's my enemy with these quarter collections. So um, to an extent, they know how much money the laundromat makes. They understand that I have to charge. And um, during this quarter collection, we're going to do it totally scientific. I am grouping all the washers and all the dryers together. Uh, so this first group of machines is the, what we're calling the legacy machines. I only kept three machines from the old laundromat as, as far as it's concerned. Um, these two top loads, they're still at $2.50. Um, they're, they're bringing in a good bit of quarters and I think it's just because they're a little bit cheaper. We're going to try and start up a rewards club here in the near future so that my long-term customers can get a better discount. Um, but generally speaking, these older machines that the customers are used to are seeing a lot of action, but just overall the sales are really, really good. I forgot to get the um, some of the other machines in this video collection, so we're going on right next to the dryers, and these dryers are totally awesome. Um, here on the screen a little bit, I'll show you guys uh, how much I figured out the dryers are making me per minute of operation. It's pretty cool, but long story short, we've got to keep these dryers running, all the machines running as often as possible, so if that means not to stop uh, the customers doing laundry, during a quarter collection video, then that's what it's going to be. I kind of had to um, be very creative about this and only grab money from the machines while they're kind of standing away. Um, it's not that they don't like me. They let my customers love me for the most part, and they understand this is just part of the business, and I have to make money to keep the doors open. So we're all friends here, which is good. But uh, the dryers have been super, super popular. They hold more clothes. They get clothes drier, and they do it quicker. And the customers just can't believe that I want them to get their laundry done quickly. Um, it's totally amazing. And it's funny with these dryers here because as we start from the left and go towards the right, they have less and less money. Um, that first one probably had 50 bucks in it, which is cool. Um, just based off of the weight. Um, we're trying to be as scientific as possible during these collections. We are going to get uh, data and analytics equipment and we'll be able to run everything to a spreadsheet and do collections or data and analytics on the machines with Excel. Um, I should be able to live stream them and just show the course coming in. Um, but this is uh, security footage right here of just different parts of one day there were customers very much in every one of those dryers is running they make me uh, 25 cents for eight minutes a piece that's 22 dollars and 50 cents an hour of money that those dryers make and so we're trying to figure out how to double our dryer capacity because three times on saturday every single dryer was in use and um, i like seeing the machines busy and being used but if the dryers are at full capacity, then people have to wait. Um, I've already met with one of my engineering guys to figure out how to knock some walls down and double the dryer capacity. So we're taking our bucket. Um, I had to call in the big guns on this one. 
Um, not literally, that's just figuratively. Oh, we have two machines here. Um, we're really trying to figure out whether we're keeping two machines here, one machine, or getting rid of them. I will be honest with you guys, if we have break-ins like we have had in the past two years, I'm getting rid of the quarter pusher. See, I have customers here. We During this machine, I am making um, like 45 bucks this hour. And this machine here is our large format washer. It's almost, uh, it's right around a $10,000 machine. And it is freaking just packed full of quarters. Um, it's kind of a gamble. All this equipment's a gamble. Um, I talked to Danny D'Angelo, who's the king of laundromats. Um, he gave me some really great advice. We've tried to implement most of his ideas here. Some of them have just been hard to do um, logistically. Uh, but we're keeping quarters. We're not going to go to a card-based um, system. Um, like, we're always going to take quarters here. It would hurt the YouTube channel, of course. But um, we're really excited about all this stuff. And Danny gave us really good advice uh, on it. And I think that we're on our way to profitability. So each group of machines is going in its own buckets. That's kind of the advantage of having a car wash. I now have infinite buckets, as you guys have seen in some of my other videos. So that we've got a Lowe's bucket. And we're going to go through here and we're going to get money from my large washers. We've got some front load washers uh, that, that are really small capacity. Um, we've got some medium front loads. Um, these are the larger front loads and then we have the gigantic one. Um, these dryers are rated in poundage and these are 30 pound machines. To the right of that with the 2X you can see that's a 20 pound machine. And then your regular household washer is a 10 pound machine. So the big giant one we did a collection on earlier that holds 60 pounds of dry laundry which uh, for my family could do about four days worth of laundry in one load because my family is filthy. Anyway, um, those those two machines didn't have many quarters in them, uh, but we go back here to these and um, they've got a decent bit of quarters. Um, I think a lot of my customers are just trying to get used to how all the new machines work. I'm really excited about how much that gigantic one made. Um, you know, I'm trying to make wise decisions here. Um, I really don't want to offset the laundromat money with my YouTube videos because I feel it kind of it's dishonest. Um, Dexter was really good to me regarding these machines. Um, the way the laundry industry works is you have to call a local distributor. They install the machines. They um, service them for you, but then the factory makes them. And one of the neat little things, there's my scientific um, Internet of Things tag. Um, I bought these high-tech tags uh, to separate the quarters. And each bucket there has its own um, tag on it. But uh, to show you guys how small of a world uh, we live in, all these two, uh, 2X, the 20-pound washers here, I know the guy that made them. He lives in Iowa. His name's Danny. There's only two people that are on final assembly of these Dexter uh, T300 machines. And one of the guys name is Danny and he is the cousin of my neighbor and um, uh, my neighbor was telling Danny that uh, I do YouTube videos and Danny came over and he said well what dry what washers and dryers are you gonna get for your laundromat and I told him Dexter in Iowa and he said I work and uh, we tried to arrange a deal where Danny would like stealthily write his name inside of these washers so that he could come to the laundromat in a couple years because um, he's from Iowa. And uh, we didn't get that figured out, but uh, I looked on the back of them and he did sign my inspection tags from the factory. So that's pretty cool. Um, everybody's related to Ohio in some way. So we're continuing to go through these and um, they're okay on quarters. Once again, this is about one week worth of uh, quarters and money in this collection. Uh, we probably have had a half day and we also have not had our grand opening. I'm still struggling to understand how these washers and dryers are programmed. They all take USB keys and then um, I just put my camera down to try and uh, speed things up a little. At this point I'm getting tired because I actually waited around the laundromat for four hours to do the collection without anybody in it. I just, I just honestly gave up and decided to do it with everybody in the laundromat. Um, look at all those delicious quarters, but it's not too many because um, I think people don't understand our new seating arrangement here at the laundromat. 
Um, so as I go through these, I'm taking the buckets back into my office, which is actually now connected to the laundromat. You don't have to go outside. You just open up a door with a magical key. There's another high-tech Bluetooth IoT tag. And um, over the coming months, I'm sure we're going to dive into the finances and the money situation with the laundromat more because, you know, it's a neat thing that I've been able to start this laundromat with yeah. almost no money out of my own pocket. I even try to avoid offsetting the money from the YouTube channel. So here is the change machine. We have kept it, but I did put a bill stacker in. It was making Danny mad. And I, it's a wonderful decision because look at all that money. I have customers here. I've got to get in and out of this machine as quickly as possible. Um, they actually stepped outside for like two minutes to go do something, and I reached in and grabbed this ginormous stack of money. This is by far the most bills that we've ever collected out of the laundromat, which is awesome for like a, a week, maybe eight days of collection. And I have to look here in the hopper, and it's almost out of quarters. It's nice that it's almost out of quarters, but I also run the risk of running out, someone putting a 20 in, and then they get no quarters. So this is very enjoyable. Um, I have to sort money for my car wash just like this. You get a nice um, organized stack of bills, and then you spend the next five, 10 minutes organizing and uh, differentiating your ones, fives, tens, and twenties because I'm too cheap to buy the machine that uh, counts the different or determines the difference between the ones, fives, and tens. They're $2,000. My bill counter is like 200 bucks. So here we go. I'll speed it up a little. And here's a glorious picture of all of the bills that we got. And of course, I've got my $200 bill counter from Amazon here with me. But let's count the quarters um, first. I apologize because the um, audio quality really sucked. This is a $300 microphone. It's brand new. Uh, the first quarter group that we're going to count are the Legacy machines, the five machines that carried over from the old laundromat. I spent 30 minutes fixing this quarter machine. I think it's on its last legs, um, so we might have a, a time here where it breaks. But uh, we ended up with 968 quarters, which there's been weeks I've only made that much. So that was $242. Um, this is what I'm really excited about. This is the $10,000 washer. This is the, the big gamble, I guess, for me. Um, it's the largest in Ross County, Ohio, which is where my laundromat is. Um, so I, I'm planning on using it as a big centerpiece of my advertising. So this group of quarters here is only from one machine. Um, it's a gamble kind of, uh, but uh, I think uh, you'll be interested in how much it makes. Just this is one machine, guys. So we end up with 565 quarters. That's 8.26 pounds, uh, $163.25 in one week. I paid off 1.63% of the washer, um, ex of course, excluding all of the water and the electric. But uh, the neat thing is all of these machines use less water and less electric. So I think that um, we're going to see a large reduction in our operating costs. I was spending $300 a month to $400 a month in water bills, and they're telling me I expect to spend half of that, which is really cool. So for the dryers alone, we made uh, $217 and some change, which is really good. That's the most money I've made off the dryers by far. 
here are my new uh, 20 pound high efficiency washers. I think they use one third of the water compared to the top loads. We're at 133.75. Not too great. Um, here are the three um, X washers. Uh, we missed that and they were at 503 quarters. So now we're going to do the bill count. And here I have endless problems with machine, this machine, so there's just tons of editing. And we have to end up counting each bill in its own denomination. Um, And while we're at it, don't forget that if you're interested in buying a car wash or a laundromat with minimal money down, uh, be sure to visit investmentjoy.com slash course or it's in the bio. Use the code new laundromat and you can get 45 bucks off. Uh, now we're down to the 20s. Um, we also have a link to Danny D'Angelo's DVD and he's just the king of laundromat. So we end up with 840 there just in 20s, which is, you know, all of this is a record. Um, and here's my clickbaity thumbnail picture probably because we this is the most bills that we've ever got out of this. So let's talk about financial performance of the laundromat. Um, we ended up with $339 bills, $300 $5 bills, uh, $440 in tens, and $880 in $20 bills. This resulted in a total of $1919 in cash, which is great, but we've got to consider the quarter discrepancy because a lot of people come in and they take quarters out of my machine. Here's for the 2X, 3X big washer, uh, the dryers and the legacy washers at 242. We have a little over $1,000 in quarters, but we're gonna have to do another video next week to see how much is in my other machines. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to comment if you have a question about the video.